newbies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, a big happy heart day to you. Happy Valentine's Day from my heart to you. You guys are the best. If you haven't seen it, check out the video before this one. Uh, we have up our horoscopes for Tuesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Special love edition. You don't want to miss it. And even if you're somebody and you're saying, I don't want to be involved with love. I ain't got no dating in my life now. Still see today's video on horoscopes. I think you'll still be inspired and blessed by it. You guys are the best. Well, here we are. It's Tuesday. And you know what that means? Time for messages from the spirit world. That's right. Uh, for those of you who are new here, this is something we do every Tuesday. I just grab a bunch of letters and uh, I answer questions. There's no charge for it. Absolutely free. If you want to be in messages from the spirit world, just write your question in the comment box below or write to me at my website at my official email, which is readings at robert-eckman.com. I'll put all these links in the info box below. Okay, so no charge. By the way, just so you know, I tell you, I am at my office. I am a full-time professional medium. I do the seven days a week, 40 hours a week, or whatever, how many days or hours that is. Five days a week, 40 hours a week, something. I don't know. Every day I do readings. But I'm at an office. I have an office in Old Town Alexandria. If you want to get on my schedule, you can also write to me at my email, readings at robert com. Visit my website, readings at Robert, excuse me, my website, which is www.robert-shekman.com, or you can call my office 571-483-2112, get on my schedule. I'll put all these links below. All right, well, we're going to get into the letters, but before we do that, let's all just take a moment and attune to the spirit world. Okay, I hear my spirit guy Fletcher back here. He says hello. By the way, just also to remind you, for those of you who are watching this and are new, I always tell people, listen to all the letters, because even if I don't pull your letter, um, you may still get something from spirit. The spirit world will work through other people's letters many times to give you an answer to your situation. Um, so yeah, I just considered that, okay? All right, well, our first letter today is from Nico Sandletz. That's a pretty name. Nico writes this, greetings, Bob. Um, I have a short question, but a meaningful one for me. What is my true purpose in life? It's never been clear to me. Hi, Nico. You know, hon, when I step into your vibration, I get around you some colors that are just beautiful. I get some beautiful blue light it's like a sky blue light and then i get beautiful orange light and purple light um, what these lights mean bloom indicates you have very strong communicator energy you have a gift with words a gift with expression the orange light tells me that you're very much an artist a very much a creative person um, and your purple light tells me that you're definitely uh, tuned into spirituality and all things psychic and I feel that these lights represent your life themes. You have a communicator life theme, an artist theme, and a spirituality theme. And so when you say, what's my purpose in life? I believe it's to use these talents that you have brought over into this life from spirit. Um, it's interesting because I pick up that you're at a big crossroads right now where you're ready to embrace a very new way of being. And I feel like this year in 2017, I would like you to explore these life themes, communicator. I feel like you should be writing. You have a gift uh, of telling your life story. You want to write a book. Okay. Um, I also pick this orange light up, which means that you're a natural channel and an artist. And I feel like you should be doing work in your life where you get to be expressive. Now that could be as a sculptor or as a craftsperson or as a painter. But with this beautiful purple light, this tells me you're very much connected to the spirit world. And I feel like I'd like you just to consider exploring one of the psychic gifts I believe you have, which is spirit painting. And I believe that you could do sessions with people where you receive images of their spirit guides and paint them. This would be a wonderful service to humanity, and it would allow you 
to use your life themes. See, when we work with our life themes, then we are successful. So you're, you've got three. Some people have one, some two, some have three. There's not really a limit, but in your case, you have three equally strong. Communicator, artist, and spirituality. And so your work wants to focus on those themes. And if you do that, you will find the true purpose in your life. But I do see you working in a spiritual capacity. I have to tell you, you're not somebody who could just go be an accountant. You know, if they put you in a room just crunching numbers all day or writing computer code, it wouldn't work for you. Not that you couldn't do it, but you would miss your true joy in life. And I feel that these life themes are your purpose and what you're here to do. So these are ways I'd like you to look at. Start writing a book and explore spirit guide painting. Might sound a little strange today, but humor me and let's see where it takes you, okay? Hope that helps. Blessings to you. All right, our next sign is Lynn the Alien. And Lynn writes, she says, Dear lovely Bob, I need your guidance. Hi, Lynn, you're so sweet. Um, what do you see with Dylan and I? Um, what, um, our, what do our energies look like with each other? What do you see in our relationship? He's a Scorpio and I'm a Virgo. <laughs> wow, we well, you know Scorpio is a water sign and Virgo is an earth sign. Sometimes that can be a little conflicting because Scorpio's water tends to be deep and emotional. Virgos are more kind of laid back, a little more, you know, kind of meticulous about things. But actually, water and earth nurture each other. I have to tell you, at this point in your relationship, though, I'm getting a block here in communication. I feel like there may even be an issue like of a physical uh, distance between you, like maybe one of you are traveling or moved away, but I get a physical separation and I get an emotional block in energy. Um, I do feel you're going to come through this and I want you to watch because it's around the mid-March to the end of March that I feel that there's an opening here in the communications with both of you. So I do feel like this relationship can go forward, uh, but it's going to take a little more patience. It's going to be several weeks here until that break in the, the thaw in communication starts to break, I should say. Um, and I do feel like as we go on in towards June and July this summer, you're back on stable ground, both of you. So it is a bit of a challenging time, but I do see you coming through it, okay? Uh, in the meantime, I want each of you to pray to your guardian angels. And let your guardian angels deliver messages to each other, okay? You have an angel around you. It's Archangel um, Raphael, one of your spirit guides. He has an angel around him whose name is Joseph. So I want you to send your angel, uh, Raphael, to talk to Joseph and tell him to bring a message that you want to convey to Dylan and you'll be able to communicate through the angels and you'll start to see that like that will open up communications. When you let the spirit world get involved, it has a way to open doors. Hope that helps. Thanks for writing. All right, our next letter is Chimp Angel. Hello, Chimp Angel. She's been a long time viewer here. So good to see you again. And she writes, she says, uh, Bob, will I find a new apartment in New York City? Uh, and will I be going back to my old job? Um, on both accounts, yes. Uh, in terms of the apartment, uh, I keep seeing beginning of April around this. I feel like right now there is a little bit of a delay around that. But I see in April somebody contacting you. I feel like I want you to work with a, a realtor on this because I feel like they're going to get you a better deal. So I do see you getting something in New York. It actually feels very close to the main part of the city, and it's actually not that expensive. Uh, so that will be happening uh, beginning of April. Uh, maybe uh, just a little longer, closer to the end of April, I feel like there will be a reorganization at your old company, and there looks like there are openings coming. So I want you to go ahead and reapply, because I feel like they're going to say, oh, we know you, you work with us and they'll want to bring you in uh, because it does look like as we get into the end of April, there's a lot more money flowing around that company. And I do feel you have a very good um, opportunity that will open up for you there. Okay. Hope that helps. Thanks for writing. All right. Our next letter is from the darkness. Ooh, that's mystical. The darkness writes, hi, Psychic Bob. Um, my question is, are you able to see 
if and or when I may find my soulmate? Good question. Um, well, first of all, let me just kind of uh, paraphrase this or introduce this with saying, be careful you don't get trapped in the whole concept of soulmates. Now, I know a lot of psychics talk about that, but it's been my experience that our soulmate may not be our romantic partner. Sometimes a soulmate can be a friend or even a family member. Um, and I think in, when we talk about relationships, when we put the term soulmate on, it puts too much pressure on each party in the relationship itself. So I want you to be open to finding somebody that will be compatible with you and that will bring you joy. And in terms of that, I see that it won't be till around June of this year, but in June, I see you entering into a relationship. And I feel like you're going to meet this person. Now, don't hate me for this, but you're going to meet him at a club. I know you're thinking, I don't want to meet somebody at a club, but you meet him at a club. And that's where I see a beginning of a relationship starting. And I feel you're moving into a long-term relationship. Uh, I'm not seeing marriage right at this point. I feel that's still a ways out for you. But the thing is, I want you to focus on having joy in your life and having peace and just having somebody that's a real companion. Don't get hung up on soulmates. Um, sometimes I've seen relationships where people swear they found their soulmate and they break up a month later. So don't get caught into that drama. Just look for somebody that you love. Again, I feel that you meet them through a club. I feel you're with a group of people, uh, but it'll be around you. Okay. Hope that helps. Blessings to you. All right, our next sign is, uh, our next sign, our ne I've been doing too many horoscopes. Our, our next letter is from uh, Shannon Turner. And Shannon writes and says, Psychic Bob, uh, you need Snapchat. <laughs> These are any questions. Okay, well, you know what? I actually, I'm curious about that. I'm actually thinking about expanding my social media presence. Um, I do Instagram and I'm Psychic Bob over on Instagram, which I need to get back to. I've been a little slack on that. So those of you who follow me on Instagram, I will get back to that more regularly. Um, but you know what? Everybody's been talking about Snapchat. I don't really know what Snapchat is. So maybe you guys could tell me about Snapchat and in the box below. Tell me if it's good for Psychic Bob, what you think, should I do it? And would you all follow me over there? Okay, so we'll do that too. Don't worry, I'm not leaving YouTube, but I think it's good to be in a lot of places. So, okay, thank you, Shannon. I'm definitely going to explore Snapchat. Thank you so much. All right, I may need y'all's help with that. Can you help say goodbye? Because you know I'm not the most technical. All right, good. I'll let you know about that. All right, our next uh, letter is from Pink Moon River. Hello, dear. Good to see you. Um, Pink Moon River, she writes, Hi, my dear friend. Can you please tell me if I'm on the right path? You know, I'm getting bursts of orange light around you. You're really in a channeling mode now. You're, you're really in a creative mode and a spiritually receptive mode. And so I want you to keep your focus on your creative expression. I feel that you have an artist theme and I do see you on a good path. Um, I want you to continue to honor your intuition and your higher self because this is really where I see your power. So that's the path I, I think that would bring you the greatest joy and success. And I feel like you're really close to that or you're moving on it. And I feel like over this next month, as we go through February, that path of creative inspiration and opportunity to express that is going to work for you, okay? Hope that helps. Blessings to you. All right, our next letter is from Anna M. Hi, Anna. Anna writes this, Hi, Bob. Since I can remember, uh, life has been hard for me. Do you see anything ever getting easier? Hi, Anna. You know, right now it's interesting. When I step into your frequency, I get pink light around you. And that does tell me that you're in a lot of emotional pain. And I'm, I'm really sorry. I know what it's like when you feel alone and you feel hopeless. And uh, I do see transition for you here. And this is what I want you to understand. Please don't give in to despair. Um, your life's not over. And, you know, every time we think we're at the end of our rope, the spirit world comes in 
with a surprise. And what I want you to do is I want you to ask for help from heaven. Rose is here. I keep hearing her voice around me. And she keeps telling me, she says, tell her that I want to be her friend. I want to help her. And are you watching our Saturday night seances? I think you saw one of them. But if you haven't, go and see. I look at my videos, you'll see it'll say Saturday seance or Saturday night seance. I want you to get to know Rose. You're going to hear her voice there. Um, because when I'm in trance, she directly comes through me. But I hear her around me in the room now. And she says, tell her I want to be your friend. So there is going to be transition for you. Rose keeps telling me she wants you to watch the month of March. She says at the beginning of March, she said you get a new beginning. Um, it looks like there's going to be some transition around you in a money area. And I think this spring, you're going to start to see more money come to you, maybe a new job opportunity. Um, I also pick up a sense like that you've been wanting to do a move or there's an opportunity that's coming to present a move. And I feel like it may not be right in March, but probably closer to May or June, you may actually do a change of housing. And I really feel like you're ready for that. Um, you're at a crossroads right now where it's like, I want you to think about letting go of the things that no longer serve you. Some of that may be people in your life that have been challenging, shall we say. Um, don't be afraid of being alone in your life because the spirit world will be your friend. And you have a great team of unity here at Spirit Channel. And I promise you, if you reach out to those of us in the comments, we're going to write and talk to you and connect with you. And you don't have to go through this change alone. But um, it has been hard. I do feel around you, you've struggled emotionally as well as financially. And I feel like it's just beating life out of you. It's almost like you feel like I'm not motivated to get up in the morning. Don't give in to despair, give in to hope. I want you to watch your horoscopes also every day. You know, as I always say, when we pause and look to the stars, we have our hope renewed because we realize that the universe is evolving and revolving. And so don't give in to despair, give in to life and joy. I promise you it's not staying the same. Everything in your vibration shows transition from March forward. Because as I move out of that pink light, I've got silver light. I've got a lot of yellow light and blue light. And these colors all mean the higher self is returning. And there's a sense of openness of spirit and freedom and joy. And so you're definitely going to move into a better place. And I think the spring is the beginning of it, okay? Anyways, hope that helps a little bit. By the way, you have around you some people in spirit as well that I pick up. I get a great grandmother here that's on your mother's side that's around you. She was very psychic when she was alive. I hear her talking and she said, I'm back here pushing her along. So there's some people in spirit pushing you. And there's also another, you've got a guide around you named Thomas. Uh, he's funny because he's this young guy. He's dressed like in 1890s kind of Victorian clothes. He's a kind of a Cockney lad from the East End of London. But I hear Thomas back here and he's chuckling and singing a song. And he says, oh, well, I'll, I'll help her get out of her blues. I'll sing a song for her. So Thomas is coming in. He's a joy guide around you. I want you to call on him. So you've got Rose around you and you've got Thomas. You've got your great grandma. So you've got a lot of spirit people that are helping you, okay? But that's, that's they're gonna get you through. And I see that it's around March that the doorway starts to open for new beginnings for you. Be willing for, you know, for change. Sometimes we get in a rut, you know, we get scared of change, but I feel like you're really ready. You know, you've had enough pain and now it's time to receive joy. So you're on the path. Have faith, have hope, have love. Watch your horoscopes and watch the stars. You can draw power from all of these things. Draw power from the spirit people. Draw power from the love of those around you. Draw power from here at Spirit Channel. A lot of love here at this channel. And let the guides help you and let the star power help you. You're going to make it through. And I see good things for you, okay? Please don't give up. It is not going to stay this way forever, I promise you. Hope that helps. Well, guys, listen, that's all the time Psyche Bob's got for letters today. I am so glad you're here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe. Be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. Share this video with everybody you can. All right, well, I'm going to go here. i got more readings to do. Uh, we'll be back here a little later for horoscopes. 
uh, for tomorrow's horoscope. So we'll see you then. But in the meantime, check the video before this and get your horoscopes for today for Valentine's Day. And I wish you all a happy, blessed Valentine's Day. My heart to yours. Blessed be.